wearing a suit and tie with a 45 caliber pistol in his bag. Police say a 58-year-old man gunned down his former boss, then casually walked down Fifth Avenue, but he didn't get far before police confronted him right in front of the Empire State Building. Now, police just released surveillance video of what happened between the gunman and the cops, and we want to warn you again, this video is graphic. Police say this surveillance video captured the confrontation between New York police officers and Jeffrey Johnson that left the suspected killer dead. It all played out in the middle of Fifth Avenue just after 9 o'clock in the morning. As I was hearing the gunshots, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know which direction they were coming from. So what I did was as I ran towards where I work. What Joseph Mannion did not realize is that it was all happening right in front of his workplace, the Empire State Building. At least nine other people were injured, some by police fire. It was just kind of a, like a scene out of CSI, you know, honestly, and, but it was real. This scene started with a different shooting just moments before the cops got involved. Police say Johnson was a disgruntled employee laid off last year from Hazan Imports, a women's clothing and accessories company. They say he walked up to his former boss, Stephen Ercolino, and without any words, he shot Ercolino in the head. Witnesses told police Johnson then stood over his victim and shot him four more times. Some who knew Johnson say they're surprised. Here at Johnson's Upper East Side apartment, the superintendent tells me that he definitely saw Johnson as a bit of a loner. In fact, after being laid off, he said he would see Johnson on most mornings walk out of the apartment building wearing a full suit and tie, only to come back about a half an hour later after having breakfast at McDonald's. Still, the superintendent says he didn't find it strange. In fact, he calls Johnson a very likable guy. But police say Johnson and Ercolino had a troubled past at the company. Now, both men are dead. While Mayor Bloomberg is calling this a terrible tragedy. And there's no doubt that the situation would have been even more tragic. And one of those acts may be credited to a construction worker who says he saw Johnson walking with the gun and actually alerted nearby officers. Now, as for those nine other victims, police say they were not seriously injured. In fact, six of them have already been treated and released from local hospitals. That's the latest from Manhattan. Erica Pitsy, News 12 Long Island.